5 a.m. We are awake and heading to the airport. Let the adventure begin. Right now, off we go. Today we begin our journey to the other side of the world. Good morning. Fort Lauderdale to Dallas. Thank you. Thank you. To Tokyo. Destination Hanoi, Vietnam. We are excited and ready for our next motorbike adventure. This time to the north, our motorbikes will take us through northern Vietnam and Laos. Just landed in Hanoi. We're a little tired. A little tired. So, Made it. We head into the city to rest and fuel up for the challenges that lie ahead. Lunch, day one. Big day, we are jumping on our motorbikes today. We're gonna to try to cross into Laos to see how it goes at the border crossing. Hopefully we don't have any issues getting across and it's going to be an awesome adventure. Let's go. We ready to do this? We are. We would first need to get out of the parking garage. Then out of Hanoi. We made it out of the city. A lot of friendly people here. Lots of hello is going by. Headed towards the Lao border. See you there. Come on. Good job. We took off into the mountains. They were calling our name and we were happy to answer that call. It took a while to get used to the bikes. They were bigger and more powerful than last year and hit a lot of heavy gear on the back. Vietnam is a crazy place to drive. Oh. Just as I was starting to get more comfortable, Sean pulled ahead of me and then hit the brakes. Uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Come on, start. Yeah, yeah. Uh. I shook it off and got back on the bike. We had a little daylight left and some ground to cover. This must be it here. Place to sleep? Yeah. Yeah. We finished our first day on the motorbikes, about 150 kilometers. A lot of switchbacks through the gorgeous mountains. We didn't reach Lao today and had no idea what was coming in the weeks ahead. For now, we're taking in everything Vietnam can throw at us. We're excited, exhausted, and hungry. Time to eat and recharge batteries. Do it all again tomorrow. Good morning. We're gonna try to do about eight hours on the road today across the Vietnam and Lao border. Let's do it. Can't we go? This is the National Checkpoint. We drove a long way because we were told that this is where we could cross. Yeah. This checkpoint is uh, people from the Laos and Vietnam to go through. They are not allowed. The best way you have to Tây Trang checkpoint. And it's 300 kilometers from here? Yeah. Current situation, we are stopped for lunch. We tried to cross into the Lao border. Went to the Pahang border crossing, which apparently is in national border. They only allow Vietnamese and Lao residents to cross back and forth. We need to go to an international border. Which is apparently 300 kilometers away. Another diversion, but as they say, it's uh, the journey, not the destination. It's a journey. <laughs> it's We're sure not gonna is. let us get, it, get us down. No. All right, let's dig in.
original detour today. For now, we have procured a nice dinner, place to stay. Let's dig into this food, shall we? Yeah. Day, ready to hit the road. We're gonna cross into Lao today, hopefully. Check out the uh, mist on the mountains. Ooh. And see the clouds. I think we're gonna be driving into a lot of that today. We made it to lunch. Lunch at the border. Uh, we're a couple of kilometers away from Lao border. Uh, we paid our exit fee to get out of Vietnam, and now we're here and there's nobody at the border. Arrival, Reese on arrival. Hello. Nobody home. Of course, they were sleeping. After waiting out the Laotian siesta, we finally got into Lao, and it was beautiful, much more than I had expected. The roads? Not so much. Well, here's an interesting plot twist. Our current situation, we are stopped on the road because those guys right there apparently are building a new road and they've shut it down for the next hour and a half at least. So that really sucks because we are running late the way it is. It took us forever to get through the border. That is a whole other issue. By the time this road opens, we're gonna be running out of daylight. We need to figure something out. The joys of travel. So, update. <laughs> uh, the road is still blocked. We had to backtrack again. Um, about 20 Ks. We're in a very remote Lao village. There's some noodles, ramen noodles, and eggs. Made new friends in Laos. <laughs> Vietnam. 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 Laos. 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 Yeah. Well, that was an unexpected uh, welcome surprise. We made some new friends here. And some snacks for the road. We got some snacks for the road. Because we don't know where we're going to be sleeping tonight. We might end up sleeping under the stars if yeah. we can't get through that roadblock. <laughs> We shall see. The yep. road less traveled. The adventure continues. It sure does. It would not be easy, but we did finally get through the roadblock. Here we are. What a uh, day. <laughs> this is our uh, final, finally made it into Laos. I guess it's Laos. And we are eating our first Laos meal. That might have been the toughest day of traveling I've ever had. Uh, but we made it. Let's eat, shall we? Yeah, let's eat. Some of that yum yum goodness. All right, here we are the next day. <laughs> yes, Jeff unfortunately had uh, some stomach issues last night. Might have been those uh, red peppers. <laughs> and you know, he's up all night, and the toilet bowl was his best or worst friend. So we've got him up and running today. He's not saying anything because he's a little under the weather, uh, but I'll, I'll hand it over to him. right off of there. John took a tumble out on the road. I found myself 
it's just my motorbike. He went down on his bike. I fell off the bike and the bike gave way. So I came back into town. It doesn't seem like it's going very well. The clutch is broken. So is my pride. So nobody speaks English, so it makes it really difficult to communicate. You know, we get up and we move forward. So we're back at the shop. I took one of the guys uh, on my bike. We went back and met Sean, see if they can't get this fixed. Fingers crossed. He attempted to get out of town today. Our journey to Luang Prabang is taking a little bit longer than expected. We should have been there about three days ago. We're still maybe two days away. It's been entertaining. Uh, I'm uh, warming up with a bowl of fur, trying to work out how we're going to get to Luang Prabang. Um, maybe we should fly a motorbike today. <laughs> Good news is, uh, the bikes are fixed. Sean's clutch is now repaired. Set us back a few more hours, but we are determined to finish this journey. Here we go again. Then we don't have enough to worry about. Quick stop for warmer gloves. Awesome. Ooh and to warm our hands and hang out with some local villagers. Thank you. about four or five hours today to the city of Vieng Tong and uh, we found a guest house to stay at for tonight. Met our buddy Matisse over here from Germany. Right. Hopefully we'll make it to Luang Prabang by tomorrow. I don't think Luang Prabang exists. We're still trying to find it. It's the lost city. <laughs> we hear it's there but uh, we're gonna try to find it tomorrow. to uh, Luang Prabang and we're hoping for a nice clean day today. Nice easy day today, we deserve it. Yeah, it's been yeah. last couple of days have been testing. Challenging. Yeah, which Very. is part of traveling, but our bikes are still moving forward and we will move with them. Ready. Stop for lunch in this cool little Laos town. Check out this little town, it's really cool. This is just like several communities that we've driven through. Very community oriented group of people we've, we've yeah. come to see in the past. Family five. oriented, very strong family, family values, lots of procreation. A lot of kids running around. But everybody seems to have their set place in the environment, in the establishment. It's a very simple life. Yeah. They seem very happy. As they would say, kiss, keep it simple, stupid. So we're going to now dig into this bowl of deliciousness.
another long day. What we're realizing then is that uh, everything is longer on the roads, on these particular roads. We've arrived in Luan, Luan Prabang. It does exist. We stay here for a few days because we deserve the rest. Yes, we do. spent the better part of today recharging our batteries, taking a much needed rest day. We're gonna go grab some food and check out some of the sights of this gorgeous town. So we're at a bike repair shop. <laughs> Both getting oil changes on these bad boys. We've put them through hell and back because of all the potholes and jumps that we had to go over yesterday. All my baggage is apparently too heavy. Busted off my luggage rack. So we are getting some repairs done today. There's a Laos MacGyver right here. This guy's legit. So these guys are awesome. Our bikes are now in better shape than they were probably even when we picked them up. They went through every square inch of these things, changed the oil, tightened things, everything that needed to be done, they took care of it. And my bike rack, check this thing out. Even better and stronger than it was before. Super happy, these guys are awesome. Great quality stuff, super glad we came here. Thanks guys. Oh, stuck. oh wow, this is real. Nice. Yes, you did. Accident? Yeah. Small. Small, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we got on our bikes and we drove down by the river to find a good place to watch the sunset. Came across this guy, said he'd take us out on a little private boat tour. Check this thing out, just for us. <laughs> so this is our Captain Salim. Hi. Off we go down the Mekong. 140 kip, so 15 bucks for an hour private boat charter down the Mekong. Not a bad deal. Let's take a tour through this thing, see how big it is. Let's see how long it takes us to get to the back. This was incredible. Completely unplanned, totally unexpected. What an amazing, amazing experience. It's indescribably beautiful out here. Uh, as you can see from the drone shots, it's just uh, breathtaking. I just walked the entire length of this boat. Look at the size of this, unbelievable. It's a special place. It's an adventure day. We are off to the Kung Si Waterfall and the Free the Bear Sanctuary. Is it there? Guangxi Waterfall and Free the Bear Sanctuary are 29 kilometers or about a 45 minute drive from Luang Prabang. At the Bear Sanctuary, yeah. a little information, what's your name? Uh, my name is Ole. And how many bears do you have in total? Uh, right now we have 44 of the Asiatic black bear. Oh, about 15 at our new rescue center. This uh, sanctuary can house to 150 bears. I think they are only the first organization that start to help the, bears. the bear in the northern part of Laos feed yes. the bear. So. And they are also educating the local people? Yes, we Which do. Is yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's my job. Oh, that's good. <laughs> good. Here we have Jeff. Very rare species. So if you want to get to the top, you have to climb this massive staircase. I hope you're in shape. <laughs> what he said. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a workout to get up here. I'm hoping it'll be worth it. Go into the light, Sean. It's the top of the waterfall. Amazing. Feels like we are on top of the world up here. I think we can get higher. Check this out. This is much more my speed. Way down, way easier. Wearing my waterproof shoes would have been a good idea. Ooh. It's late on our last night here in the Wong Prabang. It's after midnight. I should be in bed. We get back on the motorbikes tomorrow, which is awesome, but it also means that I have to pack up all of my shit, which is no easy task. If you look around, this right now is 
my reality. Kind of everywhere. So I need to put all of this into these couple of bags. I wish I could just snap my fingers and it would be done. Good morning. It's our last day in Luang Prabang. We are headed out today, hoping for a nice, easy day on the road. We'll see. Let's go. <laughs> We're about four hours into today's drive. Quick lunch, refuel the bodies. Look at that bowl of delicious. <laughs> We made it to Muang La. Probably our smoothest day yet, I think, on the road. Nice job. Yeah. Now we need to find a place to stay. We found ourselves a little guest house. There's nobody there. Called them. They said to come back in a couple of hours. In the meantime, we found this restaurant to eat at. Nobody here either. Big lesson in patience. Patience. Yes. somebody that works here and we found food. Camarones. Look at this feast. Looks amazing. So as it turns out, that is a bowl of fire sauce. <laughs> and we're both a couple of sissies. <laughs> I can't, I've lost my taste buds and I've developed a fungus out of my nose. <laughs> It's extremely hot. Way too hot. Ooh. We've found the culprits. Look at these little buggers. One, two, three. Uh, there's probably a bunch more in this little bowl of fire. Maybe we should put toilet paper in the freezer tonight. Yeah. Ooh. We found a guest house for this evening. Here's the room for tonight. Pretty basic accommodation, but it's got all the important things. Hot water, ceiling fan. Here is the bonus bed, nice and soft. Don't find that a lot for 10 bucks a night, so happy. Woo, it is amazing how good a person can feel after a hot shower. Feeling like a new man again. I'm gonna go knock on Sean's door over here and see if he's ready to go. We're gonna go grab another bite to eat. Hey, Sean. Hey, hey there he is, how hey. you feeling? Excellent. Hot water, it's only the best uh, when you're traveling. And now we're gonna go find some real food without the spice. Well, we didn't have to go far. Just up the street, we found ourselves a great local restaurant. Got ourselves some fried rice with chicken. Full moon tonight. Good morning. Getting some breakfast. We found a local market here. We got some rice and some local meat. Uh, it's gonna get us some energy for the day. And we head towards the Vietnamese border again, back to Vietnam. Another big day driving today, let's do it. Stop for a quick lunch. We're about 20 clicks away from the border. Back to Vietnam, let's fuel up before we go. We are here at the Laos Vietnam border. Well, that was brief. Um, we're on lunch break. I guess between 11:30 and 1, don't come to the border. We're finally good to go. We've got our passports visa stamped, and uh, let's get back to Vietnam. All right, just past inspection at the uh, Vietnam border now. I guess they like us. They invited us back in. Now we're back in Vietnam. Woo! Seriously? You're good up here if you can find a way to get around him.
go this way. Oh, a place to stay and it turns out they've got one right here. Beautiful little place we arrived in, Wong Lei. We have some full bellies, yeah. dinner in our tummy, and, uh, like the Buddha. This belly over here and uh, this is the proprietor of uh, the guest house we're staying at. He's going to be serving us some tea. So it's just about bedtime and our proprietors are putting up a mosquito net. Got the whole family in here. It's a family affair. We have made it to Sapa. Can you see our bread? Yeah. yeah, it's chilly. So we have checked ourselves into the Ara Hotel here in Sapa. It is absolutely beautiful. Of course, one of the main attractions is the view. Unfortunately today, we are up in a cloud right now. Plan for today, we're gonna hike down into a village, hopefully get below these clouds. Let's go check it out. So we've walked down the hill from the town of Sapa to a place called Kat Kat, which is a little village uh, just down the way. And apparently they have a nice waterfall, some local shops, local people. It costs 70,000 uh, each to get in. It's about a two kilometer walk, about an hour going through the village. Go and see how they get the local weaving done. Sean found a cat in Cat Cat. <laughs> <laughs> All kinds of delicious barbecue. We're gonna try some buffalo jerky. Thank you. Mmm, very tasty. Don't come up here, man. You're gonna be on that barbecue. <laughs> Go back. No, just, just cleaning. No. What a pig. Do plastic? <laughs> Throughout northern Vietnam, you will find many small villages similar to this, comprised mostly of ethnic minority groups, such as the Hmong. They have lived and worked here for many generations. Are you eating for four? Very cool little village. Long hike into the village is a long hike back to get to Sapa. Would have been uphill, so for 50,000 dong, which is the equivalent of about two American dollars, we hopped on a motorbike. We've got a uh, delivery service that is going to bring us back up into Sapa. This is the way to go. What is your name? He's got a cool helmet, though. The best news is. The sun is out. Sure is. So we're gonna take full advantage of this and uh, try and find a lunch place with a view. The clouds would finally part and give us a few hours of sunshine. Tonight we explore more of Sapa. Great food, hanging with the locals, meeting new friends, and of course, to cap off the night, a Vietnamese staple tradition, rice wine. Today we take the cable car to the top of Fancy Pan, the highest mountain in Indochina. $35 for a round trip ticket to the top. We just need to scale those stairs right there and we'll be to the top. Tell the air is a lot thinner up here. up here at what seems to be the top of the world. It's truly hard to describe how beautiful this place is. Clouds, mountains, and absolute beauty as far as you can possibly see. So we've climbed about 4,000 stairs. 4,001, 4,002, 4,003. But it's worth it. Well worth it. And we've got about 1,000 more to go, and we'll be at the top. So this is the very top. This is as high as you can go. 3,143 meters high. Unbelievable. We're on our way down from the 
summit. I'm without speech. Speechless. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 Good morning. Last night we made it to a little town called Fo Lu. We stopped at this guest house right here. So we're going to start our morning off right next door at an awesome breakfast place. Check this out. It's a whole family affair, mass production, serving the entire neighborhood. Look at this plate of deliciousness. We made it to Ha Zhang. This sweet woman right here has offered us something nice and cold to drink. So we are going to enjoy that and figure out our next move. So the first order of business, as you're probably getting to know about us, is we're hungry. We found food. Spring rolls, some fish, some pork. A couple of greens. Greens, rice. Keep our moms happy. All good, let's dig in. We just finished dinner and we're walking down downtown Ha Zhang. A uh, really cool special time of year right now. They are preparing for the Tet Festival, which is the Vietnamese New Year. Everywhere you look around, decorations, flowers, trees, costumes, colors galore. Everybody's hustling and bustling and preparing, gathering up meals and designs and costumes. Yeah. And really cool time of year to be here. So when in Vietnam, if you're gonna go out at night, you're bound to come across a karaoke bar. There's lots of them. Vietnamese people love to sing karaoke. So we're here at the uh, Pub Passion. Awesome place. Sean would teach the staff some of his skills behind the bar. Woo! From that point, things started to get interesting. We then wandered next door into a much crazier karaoke bar. The locals were quite friendly and wanted us to join in. This was one of those times that, well, you just have to go with it. Adventurous souls who are lucky enough to journey to the far northern reaches of Vietnam are rewarded with an incredible place called Dong Van. Seemingly on another planet, this place is full of magical wonder. If you're fortunate enough to find yourself here, this little slice of heaven awaits you. Roma Italian Restaurant. From the moment we arrived on our motorbikes, we were treated like guests of honor by owners Tom and Sweet. My best friend. Sweet has taught everyone. Yeah, how to cook. And this is Tony Tao, and he's a very, very, very close brother of mine. Tony Tao from Italy, yeah? And he... <laughs> it's a very beautiful part of Vietnam. The scenery, the people, yeah. the feeling we get here from yeah. the mountains, the fresh air, yeah. the lifestyle, and connecting with people. So if we can give them something that is where he's developed the taste, the authentic taste, yeah. you know, in your mouth, yeah. where I can guarantee happiness, that's nearly better than sex, because I've got such love for this place. It's good pizza and pasta, yeah. Today is our last day in Dong Van. The king of all passes, the entire Ma Pi Leng Pass, lies in front of us today. So super excited about that. Beautiful drive today. We made it to this cool little village, pulled up to this spot for some lunch. Check out this deliciousness. into this place that said open. We weren't even sure exactly what it was on the side of the road. So we stopped in, asked if we could get some food. Guess what? Some beef and rice and fries. Let's dig in. We're gonna jump back on the bikes and try to find somewhere to stay tonight, either a homestay or a guest house. Let's go see what we can find. have made it to this cool little village in between Bao Lok and Khao Bang. We are going to grab some dinner and settle in for the night. Let's go! And of course, make new friends with the locals. Oh, yeah! Good morning. We 
we stayed at this guest house last night. It wasn't a great night. The hard drive with all of our footage took a little fall last night. It dropped about two feet off of the laptop onto a hard tile floor and has since decided it does not want to connect with my computer. The light still turns on. It still sounds like it wants to work, but it does not work. So it was a bit of a rough night. Uh, I didn't get much sleep. Really hoping like hell we can get the footage back. There's Sean. He's in a better mood than I am today. Try to make it to Bobby Lake today. Let's do it. The weather has not been great so far, but we are stopped to warm our spirits with some food. This family makes homemade rice paper sheets. It's an entire production. It's incredible, and they are delicious. One of my favorite things about traveling, the random yet warm and interesting people you meet along the way. This sweet woman was hard at work preparing our lunch. The roads have not been the easiest today. No, Mother Nature is testing us. Mother Nature is making us earn our way out of these mountains. Sure is. So we are here at Babe Lake. Wow. It's uh, exceptionally peaceful. Arriving here has just melted us with peacefulness. I'm very blessed and humbled to be here. People that we've seen and just the way of living is simplicity. It's a daily existence uh, and simplifies everything. It's overwhelming for me personally. There's a warmth about these people because this is sublime. Super happy to be here. Yeah. We're at Bobby Lake. Thank you. And we've chartered a boat for today. I don't know why anyone would want to leave this place. Let's go off on a little adventure, see what we can find. Let's do one of our boats. Ooh. Wow. Where am I? Look at this place. What? That was pretty incredible. What'd you think of that, Sean? Amazing. Wonderful. Xin chào. Some food? Yeah. Well, it's uh, an incredibly beautiful place that we are experiencing today. We're about to have lunch. We just caught in that river. Bamboo. Bamboo. After a delicious lunch, we helped this family carry some supplies up from the river. Banana. Banana. They were so gracious to us and wanted to express their gratitude. Good. No, <laughs> very good, very uh -uh. good. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Come on. Xin oh. chào. Oh. <laughs> Quick little hike to this waterfall. Let's see it from the top.
once again, the way down was much easier on, than the way up. You doing all right back there, Sean? Yes, uh, trying to help nature here, picking up some plastic. Cleaning up Vietnam, it's a beautiful thing. This place is incredible. It's very humbling to see how these people live. Very simple lives. They don't need much. And uh, quite frankly, it's more people should live this way. Very humbled. I love this place. It has been a great day exploring Bay Lake with the boat, some amazing scenery, and we've met some incredible people. It is truly something special out here, and I have been humbled once again. We are here on a boat. As you can see around us, if people are familiar with this picture, Halong Bay. Halong Bay means descending dragon. It's a UNESCO site with over 2,000 limestone islets and nearly as many cruise ships. We randomly chose Flamingo Cruises. It was awesome. We relaxed and took in the sights from the ship and they had some activities lined up for us. We checked out some cool caves and did some kayaking through the bay. Above all, Halong Bay was the perfect spot to unwind, reflect, and take in the sights. I could have spent all day just hanging out on the boat, watching the incredible bay pass us by. It is truly a magical place. It has been an amazing journey thus far. I'm excited for what lies ahead. We're in a tunnel. And we are headed out to the street. Uh, we are gonna see $25 gets us to me. So you help it. First stop, smoothies. 40,000 dong or $2. $23 to go. We're at the Vietnam Military History Museum. It's 40,000 dong, $2 to get in. That means $21 to go. So we're stopped for lunch. We got some fur in front of us. 40,000 per bowl. It's $2. We're down down to $19. A visit to Hanoi would not be complete without a stop at the famous Train Street. Nice cold beverage for uh, the afternoon. Yeah, we are uh, stopped for some ginger tea and coffee. Uh, it's another two dollars, and we are now down to around seventeen dollars. We're hungry again. Meal number two for the day. Maybe some delicious bun cha, couple of spring rolls. Three dollars. We are down to fourteen. Well, we came to get some coffee. Yes, uh, found this delicious coffee. Five dollars. So that brings it down to about nine dollars. Getting some gift cards from a street vendor. How many do you need? Two dollars. So we're down to seven. Overnight motorbike parking. Forty thousand a pop. So that's another two dollars off the seven. We're down to five. We we are at the gas station. And that was the last $5 of the $25 for the day. As you can see, it goes a long way. We are back at Silver Ant Tattoo. Silver Ant did an awesome job. Good bowl of pho before we uh, head out of Vietnam for now. Abadee, 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 uh, that's all, folks. <laughs> Over four weeks of incredible fun. Probably planning already upstairs in the mind uh, when to return. Please check us out. Uh, follow, like, feed. Do all sorts of that social media stuff. See you soon!